Today's Mass Readings March 30, 2020 Monday of the fifth week of Lent First Reading A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel Daniel chapter 13 verse 41 c to 62 the assembly condemned Susanna to death. But Susanna cried aloud, O eternal God, you know what is hidden, and are aware of all things before they come to be. You know that they have testified falsely against me. Here I am about to die, though I have done none of the things with which these wicked men have charged me. The Lord heard her prayer as she was being led to execution. God stirred up the Holy Spirit of a young boy named Daniel, and he cried aloud, I will have no part in the death of this woman. All the people turned and asked him, What is this you are saying? He stood in their midst and continued, Are you such fools, O children of Israel, to condemn a woman of Israel without examination and without clear evidence? Return to court for they have testified falsely against her. Then all the people return in haste. To Daniel the elder says, Come, sit with us and inform us, since God has given you the prestige of old age. But he replied, Separate these two far from each other that I may examine them. After they were separated one from the other, he called one of them and said, How you have grown evil with age. Now have your past sins come to term, passing unjust sentences, condemning the innocent, and freeing the guilty, although the Lord says, The innocent and the just you shall not put to death. Now, then, if you are a witness, tell me under what tree you saw them together. Under a mastic tree, he answered. Daniel replied, Your fine lie has cost you your head. For the angel of God shall receive the sentence from him, and split you in two. Putting him to one side, he ordered the other one to be brought. Daniel said to him, Offspring of Canaan, not of Judah. Beauty has seduced you, lust has subverted your conscience. This is how you acted with the daughters of Israel, and in their fear they yielded to you. But a daughter of Judah did not tolerate your wickedness. Now, then, tell me under what tree you surprised them together. Under an oak, he said. Daniel replied, Your fine lie has cost you also your head. For the angel of God waits with a sword to cut you in two, so as to make an end of you both. The whole assembly cried aloud, Blessing God who saves those who hope in him. They rose up against the two elders, for by their own words Daniel had convicted them of perjury. According to the law of Moses, they inflicted on them the penalty they had plotted to impose on their neighbor. They put them to death. Thus was innocent blood spared that day. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm Psalms chapter 23 verse 1 to 6 let our response be, Even though I walk in the dark valley I fear no evil, for you are at my side. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. Even though I walk in the dark valley I fear no evil, for you are at my side. He guides me in right paths, for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side, with your rod and your staff, that give me courage. Even though I walk in the dark valley I fear no evil, for you are at my side. You spread the table before me, in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Even though I walk in the dark valley I fear no evil. For you are at my side. Only goodness and kindness follow me. All the days of my life. 
and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord, for years to come. Even though I walk in the dark valley I fear no evil, for you are at my side. Before we proceed, it would mean a lot if you hit the like button, and subscribe to this channel. Please don't forget to hit the notification bell, so you don't miss out on new videos. Feel free to share your comments, suggestions and reflections, on the comment section down below. Thank you and God bless. Now, let's continue with the video. Gospel Reading A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. John chapter 8 verse 1 to 11. Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. But early in the morning he arrived again in the temple area. And all the people started coming to him. And he sat down and taught them. Then the scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman, who had been caught in adultery, and made her stand in the middle. They said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught, in the very act of committing adultery. Now in the law, Moses commanded us to stone such women. So what do you say? They said this to test him, so that they could have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and began to write on the ground with his finger. But when they continued asking him, he straightened up and said to them, Let the one among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. Again he bent down and wrote on the ground. And in response, they went away one by one, beginning with the elders. So he was left alone with the woman before him. Then Jesus straightened up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She replied, No one, sir. Then Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go, and from now on do not send any more. The Gospel of the Lord. <laughs> 